Welcome back everybody. As you can guess from the title of the video, we're going to be talking about two things today. Uh, number one is going to be the Nashville shooting. We're not going to talk much about that and I'll tell you why here in a second. But additionally, President uh, Joe Biden, as well as a lot of people in the media calling for an assault weapons ban. So uh, getting into the actual Nashville incident, um, as I said on my social media, which if you're not following me across various social medias, definitely check it out because the stuff gets posted there first before I can make videos. Um, but as I said earlier today on my social media, whenever these types of incidents happen, the initial reports are oftentimes wrong, uh, especially the details of what is being reported. So I don't want to get too much into the details of that, but President Biden, shortly after the incident happened, did make a statement, and I just want to run that right here real quick so you guys can see it, and we'll all be on the same page. And uh, we have to do more to stop gun violence. It's ripping our communities apart, ripping the soul of this nation, ripping at the very soul of the nation. We have to do more to protect our schools so they aren't turned into prisons. You know, uh, the shooter in this situation reportedly had two assault weapons and a pistol. So I call on Congress again to pass my assault weapons ban. It's about time that we began to make some more progress. As we all just saw there, the president called for assault weapons to be banned in America in the wake of this lady shooting here in Nashville. So there's a few things I want to talk about and we'll kind of walk through it in order. So how big of a threat are mass shootings? Uh, what are actually used in terms of weapons in these types of assaults? Um, how are they actually stopped? And then what is Joe Biden proposing? I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible, but kind of hit the high points on that. So first thing I want to roll in here is just a graph that you guys can see. Links to all of these resources will be down below. And you will see that mass shootings, the way the FBI defines it, of people who I believe it's four more killed with no pause in the actual act itself. Um, basically, they're trying to get rid of gang violence in that statistic. But as you can see here, um, almost no, in terms of percentages, folks are actually killed in mass shootings uh, versus other types of killings that happen in America. Additionally, I want to point out the types of weapons that are used in mass shootings very rarely are what most people would understand as an assault weapon. We'll get into a little bit later on what Joe Biden defines as an assault weapon because it's probably not what you think an assault weapon is as an average viewer here on the channel. And then additionally, I want to talk about how these types of mass shootings are stopped. So in the overwhelming majority of the case, it's over 95%. These types of attacks are ended when someone with a gun who is not a killer confronts the killer. So whether that results in the killer killing themselves, whether that is an armed citizen killing the person, or whether that is a law enforcement officer of some type killing the person, it really doesn't matter. What tends to happen, again, over 95% according to the statistics over the last 12 years this has been tracked, again, links will be down below in the video description, uh, that is how these accidents, or incidents rather, are stopped. Somebody with a gun confronting the killer, somebody with a gun who is not a killer confronting the killer. And uh, in a large percentage of these uh, situations, it tends to be citizens. When these types of incidents happen in a school, that leads us into a whole nother rabbit hole where in most places in America, schools are prohibited places for law-abiding citizens to carry firearms. There are exceptions to that, but generally speaking, that is true. And like we just talked about, when these incidents are stopped, it is when a non-killer shows up with a gun one way or another so if you guys want to go down the path of arming teachers of just allowing anyone to be armed like you would everywhere else in society we will leave that to you guys to debate down below in the comment section but one thing's for sure having a gun free zone i.e a place where only criminals and killers have guns results in a higher death count it's just that simple period. There are over 300 million and probably a lot more than that guns in America. So whatever you want to do in your fantasy land about stopping firearms proliferation within America, it's probably not going to happen. So we have to deal with reality. And how does Joe Biden propose that we deal with that reality? Well, let's take a look at his plan. Again, for the sake of clarification, this is straight from Joe Biden's own website. We're only going to talk about a couple of the points because I want to keep the video somewhat pithy, but the first point that he proposes and he's pushing for in the wake of this Nashville shooting is to ban the manufacture and sale of assault weapons in high capacity magazines. So let's break that down. Ban the manufacture and sale of assault weapons. What he defines as assault weapon is anything, and again, links down below if you guys want to check it out, anything that is capable of accepting a magazine of more than 10 rounds, so capable of accepting a magazine of more than 10 rounds. That is probably 95% of all non-shotguns that are sold in America. 
pretty much any type of firearm that is not a pump action shotgun or even a semi-automatic shotgun that is sold in America today is an assault weapon under the definition proposed here by Joe Biden. Additionally, high capacity magazines, he defines that as a magazine with a capacity of greater than 10 rounds. Again, the overwhelming majority of magazines that are you know, out in America right now would fit that definition. So they're gonna ban the manufacturer and the sale of it. Again, the estimates of how many firearms are actually in American circulation right now vary wide, widely, somewhere between 300 and 500 million. And most folks out there, if you actually look into the data on this, will say that on average, somebody who has a firearm has an average of five to seven magazines for it. So just do the math on that in terms of how many of these items are out there in circulation in America right now. The numbers are staggering. And one thing I want to note on that is that in the past, um, the way they defined assault weapons has varied dramatically depending on how they've done it. And they've listed a number of different features. Now the main feature in Biden's plan is the fact that it can accept the magazine capacity of 10 rounds or more. And he goes in specifically on his own website to say it's not going to be a feature type of assault weapons ban like it had been in the past, like it looks scary or whatever the case may be. So that is the main feature, which is again, virtually all firearms in America. And you have to think a lot of the firearms that don't fit that definition can fit that definition, right? So think of like a standard 1911 as a handgun, for example, uh, traditional capacity is a seven or eight round magazine, but of course they make magazines that are much greater in capacity for that. So that gun, along with just about every other gun, fits the definition of an assault weapon under this plan. And how do we propose that we will account for these firearms that are already out there in America? Again, to the next bullet point on Joe Biden's own website, regulate the possession of existing assault weapons under the National Firearms Act. So what that means, again, most folks don't own any weapons that are subject to the National Firearms Act. But what that means for folks who don't know is that under the National Firearms Act, there's several things you have to do in order to own a firearm. Number one, of course, you have to register it. Uh, so you have to register it with the federal government. You have to pay a $200 tax stamp for each firearm. And again, under this plan, the magazines, each individual magazine are an assault weapon. So $200 for every magazine that you own. You have to submit fingerprints for each one of those. You have to submit two photos for each one of those. So if you own three firearms that have seven magazines each, just do the math on how much you're actually submitting there to the ATF. And then anytime you take the firearm, let's say to a different state, like for an example, I was born in Springfield, Massachusetts, which is on the border of Connecticut. So if I wanted to go to a shooting range that was 10 miles away in Connecticut, I had to get, if it was an NFA item, I would have had to get permission from the government to cross state lines with it, notify them of it, notify them of the serial number, notify them when I plan on going to that shooting range that's 10 miles away, etc. cetera. Um, if I was not home and that firearm was in the possession of another family member who lived in the home, then that is a felony because it is a National Firearms Act firearm. So that is what Joe Biden wants to do here in the wake of this shooting is to treat every firearm that falls under that definition, which is the vast majority of them, even folks who live in banned states, your firearms are capable of taking more than 10 round magazines and then treat them as an NFA item. So that is point number two on his plan. Number three is buyback assault weapons and high capacity magazines already in our communities. We all know how that would work. Number one, the government can't buy anything back that they never owned. And then additionally, they're going to be forcibly stealing the money that you guys work hard for at work every day through tax dollars, and then using them to buy back something they never owned in the first place. Obviously people would not turn them in, especially criminals. Criminals would be the last people who would turn these in, therefore making it easier to commit crimes amongst a population that has less arms available to defend themselves. And of course, there's a long list of bullet points that Biden wants to do and he's proposing in the wake of this shooting. However, the last one I want to hit on is the requirement for background checks for all firearms transfers. Again, just a common sense, objective look at this proposal would tell you that criminals are not going to go through background checks. They never have. They never will. They'll just go to the ATF through some sort of fast and furious program and get their guns that way or do it through a straw purchase or purchase them on the secondhand criminal market and we'll get them. Somebody who's a law-abiding citizen will go through this. And why do they want to have law-abiding citizens go through this process? Because if you go through a background check, it goes into a registry in America. They claim it doesn't, but again, we have done videos on this in the past. It absolutely does, and that's why they want to do it. And if you look at the history of registrations around the world, there is no exception to this. Every single registry that has ever happened, if you allow for about a 10 to 20 year period after that, some form, 
regardless of what form it comes in, of confiscation comes into play, and that is their end game. They want to confiscate the firearms and control, the, and then further control the population of America. Hopefully that kept the video somewhat short. Again, I didn't want to go too much into the details on Nashville itself because those details are still being flushed out. It has only been hours after this, and folks like Joe Biden, the media, and everybody on that side, the gun grabbing side is already calling to disarm you, the actual people who have the capability of stopping these homicidal maniacs. So with that, guys, we will close the video out. If you have any questions, anything like that, you can post them down below in the comment section. Again, links for all these resources will be down below. You can do your own research. I trust that you guys are adults and will do that. If you like this type of video and you're not subscribed here on the channel, unfortunately we do them fairly frequently because we have to combat the narrative that we are being told in this country by our leaders. So uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button for future incidents like this. Obviously we do a lot of reviews here on the channel as well. So you guys can check those out. Uh, additionally, like I mentioned earlier, if you're not following me on my social media, go ahead and follow me over there because that's where these things come out first. And then we make the full videos. Additionally, if you're subscribed here and you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, make sure you sign up for my email at the website here on your screen. This email goes out once a month. It has all of the videos since the previous month's email. So that way there's no big tech giant censoring your eyes from my content. And like I said, for those of you guys who are new, we do a lot of reviews here. So there's a black helicopter flying over my head. I suppose <laughs> that is fitting. Regardless, we're going to push through with the video. Um, if you guys, we do a lot of reviews here. If you guys are looking for deals on firearms, ammo, gear, lights, lasers, optics, etc. Definitely sign up for my email at the website here on your screen. The irony of the helicopter flying over right now. Anyway, make sure you sign up for my email at the website here on your screen. I recommend you guys use a non-Gmail to sign up for any of these emails because Gmail tends to block my emails. And with that, we'll close the video out. I look forward to all of your comments down below in the comments section. If you guys found this useful, definitely share it with your friends because I think a lot of folks are getting a narrative on this that is completely false, unfortunately, and we're trying to combat that here. So thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.